in Ireland. The folks that are connected to the North Texas Irish Festival are crazy about their dogs. And today we're introducing you to some of these wonderful canines. I want to welcome Heather Skagen. So you've got all kinds of breeds to show us today. We do. We do. We have related. Three Festival real quickly before we bring the dogs out. Absolutely. This weekend. It is this weekend. It starts today at six o'clock. It goes through. People can bring their dogs. It's very donation, and we divvy it up between all of the rescue groups that we have on site. Oh, I love that. I love that it's helping dogs out. Okay, well, let's see our first one. I can't wait to see these little guys. Well, some of them aren't so little. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Maggie. She is a uh, seven-year-old Scottish Terrier. Mm. Uh, she's actually up for adoption. We're trying to find her home this weekend. Aww. And uh, she's out of uh, Scotty Kingdom, who I've actually worked for, worked with for over ten years. And it's a, uh, it's an amazing organization that just works with uh, the Scottish Terriers. And she's seven, is that what you said? She's about seven years old, seven? yeah. She's, uh, she's a little fluffy, as, uh, as we like to call it. <laughs> um, she is on a diet. Um, she was a uh, good home. She needs a new home. She does well, need a good home. And I've heard that these are very good breeds. Oh, they're amazing. I actually have a Scottish Terrier myself, and uh, they're, they're very friendly, very loyal to their family. They are a little feisty, a little standoffish sometimes, but um, they're good dogs. They warm up. I'm sure they're very loyal and they are. warm and up she to is, their owner very quickly. She is quickly. a very lovey, lovey dog. How beautiful. It'd be, it'd be very soothing to just brush the skin. Yes, and she so is, good. and she will take it all day. Oh, she wonderful. Will. Great. Thank you so much. All right, let's see our next. This is an Irish setter, she correct? Is a, yes, this is our Irish setter. Her name is Maybe. She is about seven years old as well. She was also owner surrender, and uh, this is actually one of her owners right here, Mary. Hi, Mary. Uh, she was adopted through the Irish Setter Rescue of North Texas. You can turn around and say, she, say hi. She's very camera shy. <laughs> she is apparently. She is a, she's a beautiful dog. Again, she's, she's gorgeous. Irish. Uh, this is she a looks just dog. like me. She's gorgeous. She the redheads. <laughs> the redheads. <laughs> she is. A, they're actually hunting dogs, so they're good gun dogs. They they follow they follow you, and they will hunt it down. They'll retrieve what you shoot, and. They're amazing dogs. She's just got one of the sweetest faces I've ever seen. So pretty. And this is also a great a great breed. Very good dog and very loyal. Another one that's just incredibly, it seems to be a running fad with, with Irish good and Scottish. Outdoors. So Wonderful. Thank you of, so lots much. Lots of, uh, lots of attention. Thanks for bringing her. She's great. And then we also have some really small, just mini yeah, micro dogs that yeah, we brought to the are, studio today. Yeah, these these are our little ones. We have to be careful not to step on them. <laughs> these are uh, our Irish wolfhounds. This is actually Heist and Fun. this is Emberly, sorry. Heist and Emberly. Yes. So these dogs are, Gen I mean, they're like small horses. They are. They are. Um, she's actually a very large female. Um, she's one of the tallest that I've ever seen. Uh, they stand about 36 and 35 inches tall at the shoulders. Wow. Okay. 175 pounds, 150. Well, neither of, of these ladies are miked, but <laughs> what kind of... I mean, how many pounds of food did these, they, did these eat? Three cups two times a day, is that right? what you okay. said? For this, for this one, and two and a half cups two times a day of food mixed with uh, both dry food, grain-free, as well as canned wow. food. Well, so what kind of personality do wolfhounds uh, have? They're amazing. This yeah. is, I, yeah, I've literally grown up falling in love with these animals. Um, they're, they're big, beautiful. giant rugs. <laughs> That's the best way to put it. <laughs> I'm sure they look like it when they're they really, laid on the floor. And they really do. They're very, very laid back, very loving. Uh, they're very much leany dogs, as you can tell by Amberly over here. They are. Uh, they just. They are just they, want to be loved. Are they kind of couch potatoes, or very are they much. very active? <clears throat> I mean, they can be active, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, they're called wolfhounds, obviously, because they hunt wolves. They right. hunt the, the larger prey. They are sight hounds, and so when it comes down to it, they are. They they can be active, but they'd rather just sit there and be loved on. Now, do they get along well with other breeds? Yes. Or, yes. Okay. Very much so. Uh, smaller dogs sometimes can be. Because I have issue. Chihuahua, so that might be a snack. Yeah, that would be a snack. <laughs> that would be a snack. Um, but they're they're great dogs. They're incredibly. I mean, you see how well behaved they are and how laid back, and that's just the overall consensus of most Irish so wolfhounds. So pretty. And so this is just a sampling of the kind of dogs that we're going to see yeah, yeah. at the festival this weekend. Mm -hmm. And so everyone can bring their dogs. So no matter how big or how small, people can bring their dogs to the festival. Anything, anything, as long as we don't have snakes running around, we'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you like to hear that. Well, these are our beautiful <coughs> dogs. And so there will be some that are adoptable also. There are. We, we do. We have, uh, I think we've got 24 groups this, this year. And about half of them actually do on-site adoptions. Wonderful. And I, I actually adopted my dog out there at the festival three years ago. Well, so. we love to hear that. Well, thank you for bringing all these, these beautiful canines. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Well, again, the North Texas Irish Festival opens its gates at 6 o'clock tonight, and it runs through Sunday at Fair Park in Dallas. And if you'd like more information, check out ntif.org. You can also get tickets at your local DFW Tom Thumb.